Hi, I'm Ethan, I love muzzleloading, and each hunting season I get asked, and we see all the forums fire up with how long can I leave my muzzleloader loaded? Is it okay to leave my muzzleloader loaded overnight after a day of hunting? Today on I Love Muzzleloading here, we're gonna see if we can answer some of those questions. This test in particular, we're gonna be testing Blackhorn 209 in my CVA Acura LRV2. If you're interested in some of the other black powder substitutes or traditional black powder, be sure to check out the exact same test on the channel and at ilovemuzzloading.com. To get started here, I've got my CVA inline muzzleloader here. I've got the Vortex Crossfire 2 39 by 40 scope on it. I get a lot of questions about that. What we're gonna do first, I've checked the bore, I've checked the barrel to make sure we're not loaded. But just like with many hunting recommendations, we're gonna start by fouling the barrel with a couple primers. To do this, I've just cocked and primed the muzzleloader. I'm pointing it straight down to the ground. Just like so, eject that primer. I'm gonna go again. We're gonna eject that primer, let it fall out just like that. And we're gonna load up with our hunting load. So I've got a pre-measured charge of about 80 grains of Blackhorn 209 by weight. This is about 110 to 112 by volume. I have it here in a Cedar Mountain Quick Loader. This is a speed loader that was sent to me. I'm doing some testing on, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to, to get it out and, and try it. This isn't a review or a recommendation of the product, but in case there are any questions, this has a detachable charge tube here that's sealed into this system here. Uh, when it's closed like this, no powder can get out. And when I'm going to load like we are here today, we can pivot this spout up and that gives us uh, a little spout pour. It goes through a muzzle brake or something. We don't have it on this rifle though. And then we've got a little capsule here for our Thor bullet. This is the 300 grain Thor bullet. It's got the blue ballistic tip there, kind of the classic that we've been using on the channel. It was sent to me by Thor bullet, so I'd like to thank Thor for that. So now our muzzle loader is loaded. We're going to leave it just like this. We're going to maybe cover the muzzle with a piece of plastic to keep any extra moisture from getting down the bore, as is kind of tradition when it comes to muzzle loader hunting in the modern era here. But it's important that we leave this unprimed. So if you are bringing your muzzle loader in after a day of hunting and you're setting it on your cabin porch or something, you want to make sure that you're depriming that muzzle loader. You're taking the 209 primer out the back, you're taking the percussion cap off the nipple, or you're dumping your priming pan out of your flintlock pan. We don't want any mu loaded muzzle loaders just sitting on a porch. Kind of unsafe, kind of goes against modern safety practices. As we conduct this test, I'll pull up the weather data for each day at my location. I will say it's a blustery mid-October day. We just had a nice rain last night and we're just about at 40 degrees as we're recording here. So the, the conditions are going to vary. Uh, like I said, we're in the Midwest here, so we do have a little bit of humidity in the air this time of year. So it, th that might vary. Uh, so, I mean, don't take this test as gospel. I really encourage you to do this test on your own if you're very concerned about doing this kind of thing. You don't want to pull up on that trophy buck for the year and have a load not go off. So, uh, you know, while this is a fun test to do and I'm happy that you're watching and I hope you're enjoying it, it's always important to conduct your own testing in your own area with your own materials and conditions to get a really accurate test for you. Admittedly, this has been about 29 hours. It took me a little bit longer today to get out to the range here than I expected. So I just want to be upfront about that. This isn't an exact 24 hour result test. After I finished the loading for this muzzleloader, the weather conditions really went downhill. We saw an afternoon, an evening, and an all night of rainy, wet, drizzle, sleet. It tried to snow a little bit here, but we didn't have anything stick to the ground, as you can see here. So the conditions changed a little bit. Take that into account with the results as we fire this muzzleloader. We've got our CVA Acura LRV2 here. I've got our 209 primer. We're gonna place in the end of the breech plug close it up here and we'll see if this is going to fire. Okay. 24 hours or so with our Blackhorn 209. It did fire. I didn't notice any issues or delay with that, which I think is to be expected with the 209 powder. It is the most advanced muzzle loading black powder substitute on the market today used exclusively in modern inline rifles and you need to make sure that your inline is rated for it. Because of that, do not put this in your traditional muzzleloader because you saw it on this test and you saw that it can withstand some damp conditions. <laughs> so now I'm thinking we load this up 
get the primer out of there. We're gonna see if we can let it sit for three days and if that changes anything. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm kind of testing Blackhorn 209 in, and so far as how much do I need to clean my muzzleloader. As I'm shooting, I can go 15 shots or so before I notice the muzzleloader getting harder to load with when I'm shooting Blackhorn 209. So for these tests in between shots and as these sit for a few days, I'm not gonna clean between shots. I'm just gonna let this sit. And at the end, we'll take a look at the bore and see if we notice anything. So I've got the Cedar Mountain Quick Loader here that I'm testing to load. Pour a black horn in there. Give it a few taps to make sure we get all the black horn down in there. I've got my 300 grain Thor bullet here. Take my loading rod. And there we go. We're gonna let this sit unprimed overnight for the next three days and we'll come back to you here to see if it shoots. We're back on the range this morning after a full three days in between our last test. I have to say these were some of the nicest days I think we've had really this year. Got my hearing protection on here. We've got our 209 primer for our CVA Acura LR V2. I'm gonna pop it in here. As you can see there, it went off without a problem with our first primer. I think this is really one of the reasons that Blackhorn 209 has become so popular for modern inline muzzleloaders and muzzleloading hunters out there. What we're gonna do next, uh, even though I think we're gonna see a very similar performance, we're gonna load this up and let it sit for a full week. So if you've been hunting through the weekend and you don't have any uh, shots taken, you're letting it sit maybe until the next weekend when you get off of work and you can get out there and go hunting. Is that going to make a difference? I'm expecting that we're gonna see very similar performance here, but uh, we're still gonna load it up and see if it does change. Back at the loading bench here, I'm gonna pop out the primer that we just shot. I did not do that earlier. I wanna make sure that we do that before we load this back up. And just kind of cast this to the side there, making sure that we're always loading and letting this sit unprimed. So if you've came in from hunting for the day, uh, you need to make sure that you're gonna deprime your muzzle loader before you let it sit overnight. Got the CVA Acura LRV2 here. We've left it uncocked and unprimed all week here. Got a gong there at 100 yards. See if we can hit it. Knocked the gong off the hanger there, but uh, our shot rang true. No issues out of the Blackhorn 209 after setting for a week. Really, this is the kind of performance I expected to get out of Blackhorn 209. We're shooting a post Hodgdon acquisition jug here. We've got the black jug or the black cap, and we've got the Hodgdon logo here on the side. Um, but really, this is the kind of performance we've seen out of Blackhorn 209 now for quite a while. Uh, we see some folks on the forums as we kind of get into hunting season realizing they left their rifles loaded with Blackhorn 209 last year and uh, got it out and shot it and they were shooting dead on still even after sitting for a year. Now, I don't recommend you doing that. I think it's still good to make sure you have your muzzleloader safe and unloaded at the end of each season. And it's good to clean your muzzleloader. Uh, just even though we're using kind of a modern performance powder here, always good to clean your muzzleloader, especially at the end of a season when you know it's going to set for a long time. As far as the weather conditions and things, I mean, I think short of setting this out in a drenching rain, um, I don't know that I would personally see a whole lot of a different performance out of this powder in my region here in the Midwest. Um, maybe during the winter, that's something to try. We know when we get below zero, perhaps, and we have some really wet, damp snow, but as far as this goes, I, I think you're gonna see similar results. I think I would see similar, similar results, at least if I were testing this in different climates. Um, really not a whole lot to say. I mean, if you have, if you, if you hear a lot of the, the talk and, and the love for Blackhorn 209, this is really one of those reasons why people love it. It's a clean burning powder, it's an efficient powder, and it's an accurate powder. Um, I can go through and, and I can clean this in just a few cleaning patches, 10 or 15 minutes, and I know that it's going to be ready to go and it's not going to rust if I let it sit for six months or an entire year. And, you know, being able to let this sit, and we've tested it in a day, three days, and now seven days, letting it sit and, you know, out in the weather conditions, I mean, that really says a whole lot about this powder. Now, this is a really specific powder. It's specifically made for modern inline rifles. So if you're shooting a traditional muzzleloader of any kind, 
do not put Blackhorn 209 in there. I don't want you to see this test, like I've said earlier, and think, oh, this is a good performing powder in nasty weather conditions. I need to put it in my cap lock. Please don't do that. It's not recommended for that. And even your inlines, you wanna make sure that your inline is rated for this powder. And you wanna make sure you're staying under that maximum load for your own safety. I just, I wanna say that, I wanna be clear about that. You know, you wanna go about all this muzzle loading safely and as much fun as these tests are to do here, I wanna make sure that you're doing it safely at your own range or at your own home as much as I can. That's all I have for you. I hope that this answers some of the questions about how long you can leave Blackhorn 209 loaded in your muzzle loader, at least during the hunting season here. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this, so I hope that this was informative and, and perhaps a little bit entertaining for you to see how well this powder can perform you know, not necessarily out of my muzzleloader this year, but as far as uh, against the weather conditions, I found it pretty interesting. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to check out some of the other black powder substitutes or traditional black powder, check out the channel or ilovemuzzleloading.com. Trying to run through as many of the black powders and black powder substitutes in their appropriate muzzleloaders as we can here to provide, uh, you know, one data point for you to learn from and uh, and then go test on your own. That's the fun thing about muzzleloading. A lot of components that we can try out and uh, we can all enjoy getting out and, uh, and fooling with them. So once again, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. I really need to get this cleaned up and uh, get back on diaper duty here. So thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.